In this video, I'm going to be showing examples of simple input and output operations that can be performed using the Java programming language. For this video, I'm going to be showing a series of sample programs to demonstrate how all these commands work. Now, turning to the view screen, our first sample program, this is just very simple output operations using the print command in Java. This is just a sample program here where I create a couple of variables, a username and a user age. And then I'm going to start out with, I will do print, the user's name is, and then print line and display the username. Now the important thing here to notice is the first command is print and the second command is print line. The print command says to print this information to the screen and then leave the cursor on the same line so that the next thing to be printed will follow on the same line. The print line command specifies to display this output and then jump to the next line on the screen. And then I do print the user's age and then I'll also print the user's age and again here I do print and then print line and then I'll do print line here to just put a blank line in. And then I will do it as a single line here for the bottom example. And what you will see is this print line here does the same identical thing as these two print and then print line commands up here. And then this print line for the user's age will do the same identical thing as these two lines here. And what you'll see looking at the output here is the first four commands, print, print line, print, print line, will print these two lines. Then we put a blank line with the blank, the blank print line command. And then we put the bottom two lines as just single lines of output. And these are just your basic examples of how to use the print and the print line statements in a Java program. Now if we want to do printing where we're going to display a new, a floating point data, we need to use format commands in order to um, format our output. Like let's say we say double E and this is the value of E there, the 2.718281828.4, which is a, one of your standard math values used in uh, various math operations. First, let's just say we want to print that out. The value of E is, and we display E, and on the screen output you'll see it just displays the entire value of E. But what if we want to delimit that and cut it down to where we don't display so many decimal places? We can use a format command to have it display fewer decimal places like I show here. <coughs> First of all, let's say we want to display it as a five-digit value. You'll use the printf command, which is formatted printing. And here you will specify, first of all, the percent, meaning that you're going to display this variable with a decimal place, five digits after the decimal place as a floating point value. And then the, minus, the backslash n says that you will then put a inline on that, which means it'll skip to the next line as it does output. And then the output there, the five digit value of E, and you'll notice I put 0.5F, so it displays five digits after the decimal place. Then the next line is quite similar, except here I do 0.2F, and this one will just display two digits after the decimal place for E. Next we'll look at an example of doing input. Now input in Java, you have to use a specialized uh, object which is called the Java Scanner class. And you will create a scanner object, and I call mine Keyboard Input. 
and you will say create a new scanner and then I will use that object to retrieve the input from the keyboard. So let's say I prompt the user right here, print, enter the user's name. And then the next thing here, I will do keyboard input, next line. And what that says is it retrieves the next line from the keyboard and then stores it in the user name right here. And let's say I also want to enter the user's age. So I prompt him, enter the user's age. Now here, it, I use a function called next int, which says retrieve the next integer value from the keyboard. And that will retrieve the user age. And then I'll display what was typed in here. And like the screen output here, you'll see enter the user's name, Bob Jones, enter the user's age, 23. And then I display my output here, the user, Bob Jones, is 23 years old. One other thing that is important to take into account is whenever you're performing input, inputting text is easy whenever you're inputting string values. But when you're inputting numeric values, you have to also clear the keyboard buffer after you do input. An example here, let's say I, I do this one here where I do a keyboard input, a scanner object, and I say enter the user's numeric ID and then they're going to input an integer value which will be the user ID. Now before I can then input the next value which would be enter the user's name right here this text string, I have to do keyboard input next line. This next line operation here will clear the keyboard buffer. If I don't do this operation here, the username would wind up being blank. And then I display the output. And then here's the sample output right here where enter the user's numeric ID, type it in, the username, and then Bob Jones user ID, or Bob Jones has the user ID of 76.34. <music>